The moment that everyone has been waiting for. Welcome to After the Events 4. Last time, we go back to two things. The film and the video. The film displayed more information about the Upside Down and some maybe whereabouts to where Eleven could be. But then the video showed that John was going away. But now, two years later, he has now returned to Will. But this film will mainly focus on John, it will. So, welcome to Stranger Things After The Events 4. Also, just want to say, this is possibly, could be, the last After Fence film I do until next year. Things have changed since, since last time. Welcome. Are you sure I'm the one to do this? Like, you are my cousin. Um, you are. So, like, you're a SWAT officer. Why do you want me to do this? So at least you can actually have some confidence. Because, look, how long is it until, like, I don't know, until like, one of my other family members pass away? Look, no complaining. You're doing this. Look, I've got some other stuff to do. I will see you later. Bye. Okay, okay. Bye. Uh, let's do this. Well, I'm here. Oh. Hey, Joyce. Oh, hey. Um, I'm sure I'm sure you're here for something. Is that correct? Yes. Um, I've got to show you a video. Can we go inside? Sure, sure, sure. Let's go. So, uh, what is this you're showing me again? Well, the thing is, is that I have no idea if you've seen this, but there's a video that John left for you and Will and anyone else who knows him. You want to know why he's not being here? Well, just watch it. All disorders. Dear Will, Joyce, and everyone that was involved with the incident last Halloween. Last Halloween, the world nearly got destroyed, but luckily Eleven saved us and Will is now okay. I'm talking about the upside down world. I will be monitoring Will and just Will for now because I will be taking some time off soon. But if anything was going to happen to me, you know the protocols you do. Get someone else in and set those nukes off. Because if the upside down world ever gets out, that monster ever gets out, he can control Will to the point where he'll kill every single human being and then he'll kill Will. Because monsters are monsters and they don't give a shit about anyone else. I'll be off for about three months, I will. So I'll see you guys back in February, I will. Bye. See you all. 
This is only time off, but I'll see you soon. So that's why. So, um, how have you been doing? We've been doing better, we have. I think beforehand I did not know anything about the Upside Down world after Will came out of it, but now it seems like to me, me, him, and Jonathan, we're all getting better, we are. So it's all good. That, that's good, that's good. I will say that I am just a messenger. The person who will be checking up on you daily now will just be my cousin, considering he's the last remaining person who actually knows you. I'm hearing a lot of great things that Mike and Eleven are together, Hopper is doing better than ever before, and we're just, I don't know, for once, there's actually happiness in our lives, isn't there? Indeed there is. Indeed there is. I'm assuming you're got anything else for me? No, no, thanks, I've got to go, I need to go and see my cousin. Alright, I'll, um, I'll let myself out, I've been here many times. Bye. Hey John, just want to leave you like the 75 voicemail. Just want to say that, um, well, I've been checking up on Will, he's been doing great, they've got an older now. Believe it or not, things have changed. Not much of Demogorgons though, or Demodogs, or those creatures on the upside down world. Not many has been happening. Anyway, I'm on good to go. Bye. So that's why I'm proposing a plan that we hire over a thousand new candidates for the SWAT team job. Hopefully that stands out with you and please let me know if you have any other suggestions as now I am the official CEO of the SWAT Centre. Okay everyone, bye. Hello Merp. How should they be? Not too well, in fact. Well, well, I visit Will, that was all good. But then also, the problem is that we left, like, I left another voice and I was like, I really do miss John, that's what I'm trying to say. I know, I know, I miss him too. The problem is, is that he is not doing good. He has severe depression and all I know is that from the tabs that I've been keeping on him he's been drinking a lot and until he, come, until he comes back to the senses well I have no idea but hopefully he'll come back soon because I know that upside down world won't be closed forever. At the moment there are signals coming back from us that is slowly coming back up. Oh and do you want to know something clever? Oh. Something that make made you happy? What? That. Um, the people who are at that hospital thing doing experiments, who kind of created Eleven, <laughs> all of those people are in jail right now, they are, and we've put them on the death sentence. So hopefully we call that justice, because seriously, torturing kids, that's unacceptable. Uh, anyway. I've got to go. I've got a bus to catch. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Where are you, John? Where are you? Okay, okay, I will. Another miss call. Who gives a shit about that anymore? It's like. 
So why don't they just move? Why don't they just move? All of this stuff that I've collected over the years has just been used for plain old junk. I won't, because you're messing with the wrong person. Please just go. Uh. Have we tried going to his home? No, we have not. And we haven't received any anything at all for the last two years. Are you suggesting he could be there? Maybe. But here's what I want to do. I want you to get Hopper, the chief police person from that town, to go and look for him because we already know where John lives is in Hawkins. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Um, at the moment, Hopper is looking after a girl called Eleven. I'm not sure if that means anything to you, but we'll give him a wing and see if he's up for the job. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, and one more other thing. You still understand that we are still a threat for those monsters to come back. So if so, make sure this place is on lockdown with no guards around it. Just have the CVTV cameras on, alright? Sure, I, I, I will do. Good night, sir. You too. God damn it, John, where are you? Hey, you. Who? Uh, me? Yes, you. Do you know where um, a, a SWAT officer John is? Like, have you seen him at all? Because I heard he lives 10 miles up from here. Uh, maybe that might be true, but um, no, but I haven't seen him like ever since uh, you stopped that fight a long time ago. I haven't seen him since. Uh, it's not like one of my friends just went up there to kill him. Alright, well, thank you. Have a good day. Wait. You said when your friends went up to go and kill him. Now tell me the location. <clears throat> you know too much. Time for you to die, whoever you are. Well, I'm a SWAT officer, like the person you or your friend has just killed. And you are going to tell me where he is. <laughs> this is a dress. Thank you. See, that wasn't so hard. And also, I can't arrest you now because there's no amount of work, but tomorrow, expect a little, uh, Visit from one of the SWAT officers to your home. Yeah. Go, go, go along. Right. Now I know where you are, it's time I find you. Right. 
now I'm here. Well, this home looks like a waste pair of a drunk person. Ooh. That doesn't look too good. A wobber. And I recognise that body because that's John's wife. John? No, I didn't come this far for you to die. John, you need to wake up. I, I know you're not dead, you're just unconscious. Oh, you look like you've been hit pretty badly. Right. I'm gonna call um, 911. You stay there. Hey, um, how is he? It's gonna be okay, um, sir. Um, from what we know from his records, his wife is dead and also the Wobber is also dead and most of his family either abandoned him or well, are plainly dead prior to the stuff that happened uh, three years ago. So, But from what we know, he's unconscious and he's gaining back his strength and he should be okay by the end of the day. So if you want to go and do your job, that's fine by us, we'll take care of him and we'll call you if there's any problems. Alright, well, thank you very much. You know, I got little to no sleep last night, but I do need to check on Will and Joyce and see just how they're doing. And then after that, I've got um, uh, another meeting, anyway. Um, call me when he is ready to go, because I need to speak to him. Alright, sir. Um, we will call you. Bye. So yeah, anyway, that's how the story went. Uh, cause anyway, I'm just walking back now. I'm not going to be in the office too much today. I need a bit of sleep. Um, quite, it's quite vital to the job. Anyway, I've got to. I've got to go. Well, this place is managing quite well under my management for the time that you've been away. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope to see you soon. Bye. It's that 11 and hopper. Might as well go over and say hello. Hey, um, just wanted to come and say hello. How thing, how things going with this whole adoption thing? Yeah, it's going pretty good. It is. Um, we've been doing a lot of stuff together. Um, yeah. Um, her powers, we, well she doesn't use them that much, but let's say life has been pretty good since then. Things have been pretty good, but well, there's one thing I need to ask you because I am going to have a meeting about it today. The Upside Down. Eleven, have you been feeling anything from that place since you closed it off? No. N nothing. Yeah, well... It's been completely nothing, like, life has been pretty good, why? What's the problem? The thing is, one thing you have to remember is that you closed it off. You didn't actually kill the Upside Down. Even though, for you, Eleven, that will take a man strength of power for you to close it down. So... Is it possible maybe you could start training her or somehow we can help you to improve your powers or is it something to do with age where maybe if you get older your powers may improve or may stabilise yourself because at the moment as a teenager it seems to me every time I see you use the hardest powers ever it breaks your body down so maybe when you get to the age of 18 could things change? Maybe you think so, I honestly don't know, but training? For one, I think, yeah, I think we might as well start doing that. And second, it's a good theory that you've got. Maybe you're right. Um, we'll do some of that tonight. Anyway, me and Eleven have to get out of here. All right then, uh, bye. Nice speaking to you. Right, now I need to get to the office. I'm back. Uh, shall we call that meeting now? Yeah, sure, sure. Nice to have you back. And I'll go and call them all. Right. Hello, everyone. So, 
Ah, uh, we've been doing this for so long, and to be honest, never gets old. So, not really a meeting, just a bit of some announcements I need to make. One, John is in the hospital right now, and he's doing major progress on getting better, and hopefully we get over him back by today, or tomorrow, I don't think it'll be today. Second, the Upside Down. It's still active to this day, it is. The whole portal thing has been shut off, but it's still down there because every now and then I get reports of seeing strange things or oh, children under the ages between under the ages of 12 and recently it's gone up now to 15 that they start seeing strange things they start hearing strange noises so here's what we need to do to improve our efforts at the moment we can't get 11 at the moment we can only do something when something starts affecting the main people but more closely I want you three to keep an eye on Mike and Dustin by doing this you will be able to help me more understand it because if you don't know in the upside down whilst John was there he did see Hopper and Dustin get sprayed with this stuff from the upside down so please look into that you I want you to look into Hopper and Hopper only I until John gets back we'll be still looking at Will, Joyce Eleven and occasionally Hopper. Are we all clear? Yes, sir. Awesome. You may go. Oh, one more other thing. I'm going home just to get some rest and I'll come back maybe sometime tomorrow. I haven't slept for the last 24 hours, so you need to give me a break. I know. Go. And until I get back, nerd. You're in charge again, considering you did another fantastic job of it. Well, thank you, thank you, but who's going to go and check on Will to see how they're doing at the moment? <sighs> this John was here. I'll go and do it, and then I'm going home. All right. Good day, Ned. Why do I have to keep doing this? I'm so tired, I am. Hmm. This is always the area where I hear strange noises. Who's there? <sighs> so I see the um Vinton off along. Yes, take that demogorgon or whatever creature you are. Oh hey, uh Joyce, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, was that just a creature out here? Look, I don't want to lie to you, but there was one out here. Also, well, so, well, that's nothing um, normal. Anyway, shall you come in? Me and Will have been waiting for you. Huh. Might as well. Well, you know, this is the first time I've ever been in your home. Anyway, um, get Will and we'll start the little talk session. Okay, well, I'll go and get Will. So, uh, hey, uh, what are we doing here? What are we talking about? I just want to come here and just um, see a bit of an update, see how things are going and how life has been so have you been experiencing anything um well not really that much um things have been quite good recently um yeah well that's good that everything's been okay because we are worried that one of your other friends may have been or may be getting affected the way you were, but in a different way. What do you mean in a different way? I mean, when we were in the upside down world that night, um, trying to, I don't know, make a bit of a mess of things, um, 
Well, the thing is, is that I got told that two people got sprayed by some sort of gas down there, um, Dustin and Hopper did, so if next time you, I don't know, have Dustin over and if you see anything weird or see anything that's unusual with him, make sure you let us know so we can actually help because this upside down thing, even though the gate has been closed by 11, it's still ongoing. Okay, okay, well, I, I've got to go and do something, Mum. Well, right then, uh, bye, Will. So, is there anything else you need to let us know about? Well, your normal SWAT officer guy should be back to work in the next couple of days. Anyway, um, I've got to go now. Um, I will see you all next time, I guess. Okay, then, bye. Hello Doctor, um, it's me again, uh, how is he, has anything changed at all or how is he doing? Well unfortunately his condition hasn't actually gotten better, like things were okay for a second when you left but the thing is, is that because he hasn't been working so much, I've calculated that one, he's got alcohol poison he has and two, he's got emotional stress and deep depression because the death of his wife and everything else that's just happened. Um, and unfortunately, he's lacking a load of sleep and he has a load of energy. In fact, the only thing that, that's going through his body and keeps him going is the alcohol and the, um, the energy drinks that he's also been drinking. And also, we asked him about anything else. He said that he just kept repeating himself that I saved the world, I sacrificed myself, and now he's still alive. But I do remember him coming in. He had a broken leg, he did, but somehow he was able to escape that. That doesn't sound good. I do remember that time, but Will, Joyce, we. We just need him. We just need him back. Is there anything you can do to cure what he has? And do we have a solution to all of this? Well, with his alcohol poison, we do have a solution. The solution is that, well, because unfortunately he's been having it for now over a year, the only thing that we could actually possibly give him is what we have got we've got some medicine to give him but if he came like I don't know like yesterday I mean like tomorrow we could have never cured him and this alcohol poison could have gone worse but we are able to cure him as of his depression and the other feelings that he has that has not to do with poison unfortunately all we can do is uh, keep talking to him. We've booked him up to a therm therapist we have, but that's all we can do. Do you want me to uh, take you to him? Actually, I've not just come here to see him, I've come here to take him home with me um, for now. Um, I want to look after him until he gets back together. I understand, I understand that he may need to be here a bit longer, but the fact is, is that I want to get him better. So just give me the resources and what I need, and I'll be off with him. Well, you are from the SWAT team, and you have been working together, and he's proven you and him has been through much more than anyone else. Okay, I'll let you take him. I'll let you take him. Okay, if you don't mind, stay here. I'll go and get him. Okay, I've got him. I um, just want to let you know that you need to give him at least um, what I've just given you on the sheet. You must give him that much uh, of the medicine. Here, his therapy sessions will be at least three times a week, and we recommend he doesn't work for another two weeks. 
So, and also make sure his stress levels are also down. And I understand that you're doing the um, observation of will. Um, I suggest you continue to do that. Okay? Okay then. Right, nice to see you again, John. Let's actually catch up for once. Nice to see you too. Let's go. Okay then, bye! With heavy heart, I would like to introduce to you, after months out of work, SWAT Officer John is now back with us. John, is there anything else you would like to say? Yes, yes. So, for the last couple of months, after the Upside Down got closed down, and then after everything else, a lot of things affected me personally and during that time I was out I lost my wife, I did but now I'm trying to get things back together I'm still on the um, meetings with Will and we're going to start soon with Dustin and I just want to say thank you for all of your support and just thank you to welcome me back because man I'll make sure that never happens again. Thank you, thank you, um, John. That's very nice to hear. Anyway, before you guys go, I just want to let you know that as your boss, I should let you know that we are doing some changes around here. One, we'll be hiring over another high, another 100 employees and also there have been rumours that gateways are opening up back to the upside down which meaning that we need to be on the lookout for them because if so then we'll have another monster problem with us again anyway guys thank you for coming please go back and continue your work so what you're saying is is that you're telling me that Hopper and Dustin got infected with something from the upside down world and second there's a living dead dog in Will's fridge why haven't you done anything about the second one yet? because it's not there anymore and that's why we need you to go and find it for us and second I need you to start having appointments with Hopper and Dustin they haven't gone and checked out in years but can you do that? sure I will I will man <laughs> it's good to be back Okay, so my boss is telling me that I need to go to this address and then this address and if I can see the dog, um, I guess uh, he tells me to shoot it. Hmm, okay. Well, this would be interesting. Time to get to know some new people for a change. Thank you guys for watching. This film has been in making for about a couple of months it has. You may notice the transition to a lot of different things, to my hair, to how I look and everything else. But now I can officially say we are done. I didn't want to extend, I would want to extend it but I did not want to extend it. But yeah, you'll be out of luck if we get in the after offense 5. <laughs> Considering how long this took me to make. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess, uh, I know that Stranger Things Season 3 is supposed to be coming out next year, so that's all good. Uh, quite sad uh, about the cancellation of the Stranger Things Telltale game that happened last month, but anyway. Happy Halloween, everyone. I'll see you next time.